What's up guys, this is gonna be a first look at the Google Nexus Q. It's basically an audio and video streaming device, um, kind of like the Apple TV, but it's cloud oriented. So that means it's designed to pull media from the Google Play Store as well as YouTube. Um, the Q offers media to your television or a set of external speakers. And basically it has a 25 watt amplifier and it's powered by the same chipset as the Galaxy Nexus. So um, this features Ethernet, Bluetooth, and NFC connectivity, and the owners will be able to use their Android devices to control um, the Nexus Q. So you can also have optical audio and micro HDMI outputs, which are included, and the device also features a banana-style connector for connecting speakers. So you can have multiple devices set up, and it's basically turning it into a multi-room solution, but the biggest selling point here is a social aspect, which basically means that you can have multiple users, and you can add music from their own Google Play music collection to the to the Nexus Q's um, Q, basically, and that basically turns it into a clever option for you know parties or group events where you want to have different music flow into this thing. Um, the Google Nexus Q also has 32 LED uh, LEDs, which is basically any ring shape around the device, and they change they change color and rhythm depending on the music that's playing. So that's pretty cool. Um, it'll you know change to if you're having fast paced music, slow paced music, or basically the rhythm of the music. And it also has a capacitive touch sensor that allows for quick and easy muting. So this Google Nexus Q is limited to streaming uh, media content from Google Play. So basically if you have Netflix, Hulu, Spotify, HBO Go, or anything like that that streams content, you have to make sure that it's um, in the Google Play media. And it also streams the stuff from the cloud. So that is your options for streaming on this thing. Um, how much is this thing going to cost and when can you get it? Well, it's going to be available in mid-July, so next month, and it's also going to be $299, so it's pretty expensive for what this thing can do. Um, it does look pretty, but it's probably not really worth it. You can get other devices like the Apple TV or Roku for much cheaper, but if you want to have something that looks really cool and show off to your friends and you can pay for it, I mean, go ahead and buy this thing. But guys, thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. Stay tuned for more videos like this, and I will be doing a google nexus 7 giveaway so make sure you subscribe for that and stay tuned because i will be giving that away to one of you lucky fans out there and i hope you guys enjoyed this video thanks for watching